hello hello welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a fun pretty aura set and in like a french manicure style it's going to be really cute i'm going to be using these colors everything's going to be linked in the description box down below as a base i use the nail thoughts by cocoist um, baby cakes color and that is a tinted base so i used it to do my backfill so I'm just starting out by using this McCart brush that I got on Amazon, also going to be linked down below, to do a French outline. Sometimes I like to turn my hand over, especially for the pinky, because it's kind of hard to do. And we're just going to start by putting down the different greens and blues as the French, just to give us the foundation. I wanted to mention that I really like the Nail Thoughts by Coco Ways, the tinted base gels. They make your life so easy. You just use that builder base gel and it already has the color so all you have to do is put the nail art on top literally a game changer i would recommend i have a discount code down below i'll also put it on the screen so you can try them out definitely has saved my life as a personal person that does my nails and then also as a nail artist that provides a service really cuts down on the time If I'm unhappy with how my French comes out or how the smile line comes out, I just grab my cleanup brush with some acetone and very gently wipe it up and make it look the shape that I'm happy with. Next up, I'm using this matte top coat from the brand From The Nail, also known as F-Gel, which I got from Zillabue.com. I'll leave my discount code on the screen and a link down below. This is just going to help us to isolate the eyeshadow um, aura that we're going to put in the French. It also helps to isolate the chrome powder that we're going to use to outline the French altogether. So the matte top coat really helps to make sure we don't get it anywhere else. So you can get that clean, crisp look. That we're going for so i'm just putting this on and then i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds Okay, now I'm taking the Morphe James Charles palette because once upon a time I thought I was going to be a makeup artist. So I have this palette and I just figured I'd jump on the trend of using eyeshadows for the Aura pigments. Um, I'm going to be using these greens and blues here. 
This eyeshadow is officially out of commission for my eyes and has been repurposed for nails. I'm just using some random fluffy eyeshadow brush. I have no clue where I got this one from. Maybe Marshall's. Um, and I'm just taking the pigment, dusting it off, um, and then taking it onto my nail and creating that aura effect. So I would say I go in with a little bit to start and kind of see where it's headed and then add more if I need to. I'm taking a dust brush to dust away all of the excess and then I'm going to use my cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone to very gently wipe away any debris that got in an area I didn't want it to. Next up, I'm taking this Golden Beach Pearl Gel Color from the brand Cocoist. I like to use this underneath my chrome, especially if it's going to be a gold chrome, just because I have a hard time with curing black sometimes. So to avoid any lifting or bubbling, I'm just going to use this gold under it and it ends up giving like a really nice payoff anyway when we use the chrome. I decided to do each finger a different outline. So for the first one, I just did like a regular outline. For my ring finger, I just outlined the negative space area. So just like the base of the nail. And yeah, I just was having fun with it. So I made it a little random. I'm going to be using a chrome powder that I got from Zillabue.com as well and I'm using an eyeshadow applicator and you see how easily when we use that matte top coat you're able to dust away everything that we didn't want the chrome powder to go on. It just kind of isolates it very nicely. So I like this. It looked nice with the gold gel um, that I put down but I kind of like that true gold chrome look so that's why I went with it over top the gel just to give it like a different look but i think it looks nice with either let me know your thoughts in the comments did you prefer it with just the regular gold gel or do you like it better with the chrome i also started to grow really fond of how it looked matte um but at this point i had committed to my look so glossy it is going to be 
I am just dusting away all of the extra debris and then I use my cleanup brush with acetone to get any of those fine chrome powder pigments off of my base coat. I'm sure if I continue brushing it will get away but I just use it to be efficient and quick. Using my all-time favorite top coat, the Ultra Glossy Non-Wipe Top Coat from Cocoist. And this is going to restore all of the shine. And it also kind of melts the pigment powders um, and make them look a little bit more rich. I don't know how to explain it, but once you put that liquid down, it makes the powders more flush and look more ombre-like instead of so chalky. So definitely the cherry on top you don't want to skip this step Once all of the nails have the top coat, I do like to flip it over to help it self-level and then I just pop it in for about 20 to 30 seconds in my lamp. And here we have the finished look. I literally love it. I don't know why I've been in like a green and blue theme, like all that moody, earthy tone, jewel tone, <laughs> blending them together. Love the look at the moment. All of my rings are from PreciouslyPolished.com. I will leave the link for that down below as well and a discount code you can use. Let me know what you guys think. This is the finished look. I'm obsessed. See you in the next video and see you with our next look.